it's a pretty quick setup for Jacob Perry, who is hoping his Maker's Mug Mobile Cafe creates its own little niche. You know, I love other places in town that serve these you know, outstanding breakfast sandwiches, but sometimes I just want a simple bacon, egg, and cheese, and I don't want to spend a ton of money on it. Much like his menu, Perry's business is built on simplicity. Beginning with his shack-like trailer, which he himself hand-built from scrap wood, discarded metal, and bundles of cedar shingles found inside an old barn. Tight quarters? Yeah, yeah, for sure. What it may lack in space, okay. it more than makes up for so, in function. Yeah, so the, you know, the tiny house movement has always been really fascinating to me. This seemed like a pretty safe way of testing the waters there and seeing what that would feel like to operate and exist within a small space that's supposed to be highly efficient and uh, you know super functional. Even at just 40 square feet, it's all the room Perry needs to serve up his homemade sandwiches and locally brewed coffee. And you said an iced chai, correct? Yes. Okay. Really? Besides, the moment he starts feeling cramped, well, yeah. it's usually yeah. time to pack up. A science in itself based on the basics of boating as he navigates the potholes to his next location. Typically, people who live on boats, they don't take everything off of the shelves and they don't store it away really tight in uh, cabinets or anything. So they have to sort of build out their living space for having this extremely turbulent, rocky environment. Jacob Perry has never been one to sit still. A talented builder with a background in restaurants and a passion for his father-in-law's coffee. That is the menu board for this mobile business that he believes can move him in the right direction. And there's nothing quite like building something with your hands that you then run and you then take ownership over. There's a certain amount of pride that comes along with that. And just like any of the city's food trucks, Perry must have all the permits. And while he's been testing various locations, he's ready to take up a regular spot at Thompson's Point.